What's up dudes and dudes to the internet, my name's Seth, and today we are going to be talking about how you get all of the wings in Trove. Uh, some of them I don't necessarily know, like, the specifications for it, so hopefully that's okay with you everybody. Uh, but... Everybody's been asking, so I figured I would tell you uh, that all of these wings right here are actually earned through mastery. You can always just press C, open the mastery tab right here, and you can see where you actually get them all, which uh, is completely based on the rank. I think the Neophyte wings, which are the first ones, I think they're at mastery five. I I'm not sure. They kept changing them around and moving the wings around and stuff like that. These are actually the only wings in the game where you descend very, very quickly, and you don't really move very fast. Uh, and then, of course, once you end up getting to the normal, wings and then the ones after that which uh, I think is at a much higher level maybe it's at 25 or something right here I don't know because it's been such a long time since I uh, had max mastery that I honestly don't even know where uh, you actually get them in the mastery food chain uh, then there is the wings of the phoenix which of course you get from the power pack which recently has been, re been renamed to the essentials pack storm collar wings uh, which you can only get Ooh, give me that Stormcaller rings, which you can only get from the mobility section right here. No, not there. There it is. So you can only get these per credits, or you can try and buy them on the market, which they're probably going to be a little bit overpriced. Chaotic butterfly wings you actually can only rarely get from a chaos chest. I, I don't know how often you get them now, because these wings were actually introduced a very, very long time ago, uh, back when the chaos chest only had, like, a couple prizes inside the prize pool. But I think that the chaos wings are kind of, like, always a big surprise that you can't always get out of them. Wings of the Darkest Night you get from the shadow caches that you get from uh, completing shadow towers. It's a very, very rare chance. Maybe if you have a thousand boxes, you might get one pair of shadow wings. I don't know. Uh, then there's the neon night sky wings, which of course you're going to have to check the description uh, because I actually have a tutorial specifically on how to get them because they're the only craftable wings in the game and it's very very tedious to actually do so. Zero line wings, which of course are right here in the store. You can buy them again for Stop that. You can buy them, of course, for uh, credits or for cubits, which that's a ton of cubits, so seriously. Same with the Bloodseeker wings, or you can end up finding them on the market. Uh, then there's the Soulfire wings, which were a part of the Tomb Raider pack. I don't think that that pack is even still around anymore. I think they ended up taking those out recently, right? But... Yeah, so now you can actually buy them, and it's weird that it actually shows the cubit price before the credits. I guess that's like a little bug on their part. Uh, the Arcanium Discord wings, oddly enough, you can buy them in here or just in the store. That's actually really strange because it's supposed to only come uh, through the Steam pack that you have to buy through Steam. And, of course, that comes with a couple other things like the head crab and, you know, a crowbar and stuff like that. But either way, they're some of the ugliest wings in the game, so I w honestly wouldn't recommend them. Balefire wings, you can only only get from uh, watching uh, Trove streamers on Twitch, and those people will choose randomly and give out a uh, streamer box code. And what that box code does is you go redeem it on the Trove website, and then you open the box because it'll show up in your inventory in-game. And you can get your hands on either the Balefire Wings, the, the Raptor Mount, uh, or a bunch of different streamer-based allies. And the boxes will always give you something that you don't already have. So generally speaking, you're going to have to probably watch a lot of streams and get very, very lucky to get the Balefire Wings. Uh, then there's the Wings of Lunacy, which of course you buy uh, from the Shadow Tower, or Shadow, yeah, Shadow Tower, not Shadow Coliseum. From the Shadow Tower, uh, Shadow Merchant for uh, a bunch of Lunar Souls. Then there's the Ladybug Wings, which I think are out of rotation now. Yeah, unfortunately, they're already gone. These were uh, part of the last week's event, which was an event a long time ago, and then they just randomly added it last week where the Ladybug Invaders come down randomly. It's like every 12 minutes or something really annoying. And every time that they come down, they have a chance of actually dropping these rare wings, which they're cool because they're cartoony, but they're Ladybug wings, so they're kind of weird. Uh, Radical Rainbow Wings you get from the Troves of Wonder, which are those golden ships that you'll find in the middle of the ocean, and you buy boxes from them for 9,999 flux for one box and then you have a chance of getting a bunch of different items but also the radical rainbow wings uh, then there's the wings of unexpected ascension turkey wings pretty much uh Hopefully these will come back again this year. These are a Thanksgiving event wing where so long as you ended up spending, 
I think it was like a buck or a, any amount of money on the cash shop, you could actually get these wings for free uh, from just the normal store, like right here on the front page. So hopefully they're going to bring that back and that's going to happen again. Uh, wings of Shadowy Descent, which are the dark, eviler versions of the turkey wings, uh, were actually gotten through Chaos Chess uh, again. Probably, I don't know if they're still in rotation, but they are from the Chaos Chess. Uh, the Sky Stalker Wings, which are... F never, never mind what I said about the Arcanium Discord. These are the ugliest wings in the game. These are a very, very rare uh, wing drop that you actually get from the Chaos Chest. Uh, then, of course, there is the Paragon Wings. Now, these ones are all very different. I don't know which one's which here, but either way, uh, we've got one of them. I'm assuming that this is the green one, which you have to actually buy from the Trove of Wonder merchants. There's actually two merchants on those golden ships, and one of them sells the green wings that you have to buy for Fragments of Wonder, and Fragments of Wonder are earned uh, as the bad poopy drop from those gold chaos chests. So, GG for getting these. They're called Paragon Wings because they're very expensive. Uh, these, I think, are the PvP ones, which cost like a million zillion PvP coins. You can buy them from the uh, PvP NPC in the hub. Uh, then there is the blue ones, which you buy from the Shadow Tower for a ton of Lunar Souls, which nobody's gonna buy those anymore because everybody's gonna be opening the Empowered Gem boxes instead. Uh, then there's the Wings of the Pegasus. These were uh, a prize that you could actually get out of the chaos chest, but now they have actually shifted this into being the rotation prize uh, for the contest. So if you're eligible and usually top 100 to get your hands on the light chaos bolt, you have a chance of getting the Pegasus wings. Uh, or you can always buy most of these from the market too. Uh, and then there is the dark Pegasus wings, which are the exact same, but from the dark chaos vault, which in general, I don't really agree with that system, I think people would be a lot more incentivized to compete if they were just getting the wings outright rather than, you know, fighting for a bunch of chess so that you have a chance for it to drop. Like, it's like, I, I don't know, that's kind of just my opinion on it. Then there's the badge wings. Uh, these ones you actually get from completing, I think, 25,000 quests. Uh, then there is the aquatic ones, which I will never have because you have to fish like a million fish and it's just so boring. Like seriously, I I'll never get this. Joe actually has them. So if you want to see what those look like, uh, I think I actually have a wing video in the description and it shows all of the wings. Uh, granted, it doesn't have all of the new wings, which there's only been like a couple added. So it doesn't really matter. Dark Infinium wings. I forget what badge those are from. I think they're from logging in constantly. No, the Midnight Mantle Wings are from uh, Constant Daily Login, so you have to log in, I think, for 45 days in a row without missing a day in order to get these ones. The Dark Infinian Wings, which ones are those? It's not blocks destroyed. Is it boxes opened? Yeah, boxes open. So you gotta open 12,000 boxes, which eventually is just gonna happen as you're playing the game, especially because gem boxes count. So you can see like how many boxes I've actually got open now. It's, it's insane with the amount of gem boxes. So this one's actually a lot easier to get. And that's all the wings, everybody. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Hopefully it answered any questions that you had as to how to actually get any of them. Did I see another free box here? No, I didn't. Can we get lucky here? No, we can't. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, if you found it helpful, I would appreciate you to hadouken the like button for me, share, favorite, and subscribe to join Team Pixel Sign. I want to stay epic, everybody.